Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in last week and please come along on this week's episode. This is the design department with 35 designers. Let me show you my favorite bit. It is our high precision cutting machine, actually the same as they use in Formula 1. If you check on close-up, you can see a cutting plan prepared for one specific color and how the machine is turning it into pre-cut panels. We are now walking through one of our stitching factories where we have 100 stitchers making 15 inflatables per day. This is Rosie. She's been working with us for 12 years. We have steady leaders and teams to make sure we are equally consistent with our manufacturing process. This is the testing room. After we manufacture a product, it gets inflated here and inspected by one of our seven people inspectors. They will check compliance to the designs and quality control. We do a 30 plus point checklist and approximately 10 photos. Our customers always receive finished pictures of the products they will buy. This is our standard 12 by 12 A-frame in Disco Team. As you can see, it has a rounded step. This reduces wear and increases longevity. Usually sharp edges can cause minor scrapes and cuts. Luckily, not in our case. As we already discussed previously, each and every inflatable has its own main label, which contains details of the manufacturer, safety rules and compliance to EN standard. This is our PIPA label. As you can see, it has its own registration number and the number of users stated on it. PIPA tags are included with all our inflatables since this month. Please also note that PIPA is the only supported scheme by HSC along with edits. This is our zip, which is covered by a velcro flap. It has a narrow gouge, which does not let air escape easily. And let's check it out what it does when we unzip it. This is our typical manual, which contains the logbook as well, as required by the HSE and EN standard. Each of the manuals this in particular contains the details of this specific castle. You can see 12 by 12 A-frame disco. It has the serial number, the pipa tank number and the weight. Inside you can find the logbook with the specific sizes, number of anchors, material type and weight. And on the next page you can find the inspector's name who tested it. Now let's take a closer look at our anchors, which is possibly the most important part of the inflatable. Some of our customers say they are the strongest in the industry. Till now we never had issues with detaching anchors from the unit. We use metal anchors and no webbing. If you are curious about anything related in particular to inflatables, please comment below and we will try to reply in the next episode.